Hello everyone, today our group will be presenting Fruit Peel Recycling and our informal title is Fruit Peel Cycling. So these are our group members. And for the table of contents today, I'll be talking about the introduction and followed by objectives, the methods, results, conclusion, and finally the acknowledgements. So firstly with the introduction, our environmental problem in general is specifically fruit peel waste, the increase of health awareness recently led to a significant increase for the demand of fruits. As a result, enormous amounts of fruit waste are generated. Common fruits such as bananas, oranges, lemons, mangoes, and watermelon generate waste in the range of 25 to 57 million tons per year. And fruit peel waste contributes ap approximately 15 to 60 percent, and it is normally discarded away. Fruit waste contributes to landfills, creating serious problems such as greenhouse effect, global warming, water, and soil pollution. The next slide, please. The, envir the environmental problems at our study site. So our study site is to a Longhorn University student's household. Household is one of the many settings that consumes fruits. The inedible portions, for example, the peel, are mostly like most likely thrown away because students and people in their household may not know methods to reuse, reduce, and recycle the fruit wastes. So next, we'll be talking about the project objectives. And there are two main objectives. The first objective is to educate and provide knowledge about food, about the food pure waste management and its harmful effect to the environment and how to reduce it. And the objective number two is to promote DIY activity or recipes that reduce food pure waste and challenge people to try it. So moving on to the methodology. For our method to meet objective one, we first started by planning and creating our social media. First, we planned the posting schedule and created the infographics needed for our posts. In total, we made six infographics, which included information about fruit peel waste problems, its negative impact, and how we can reduce it through recycling DIY. And we also made one video of our DIY cleaning spray. After this, we created a self-report survey using Google Form as the pretest. The pretest included five questions, which were used to assess how much the participants contributed to fruit peels waste and how familiar they are with this topic. We then proceeded to create an Instagram with the handle fruit peel cycling. Moving on, we then put all our work into action. Firstly, we acquired our followers, which were targeted as Chilalongkorn University students. After we reached a decent threshold of followers, we posted our pre-test survey. The data was then collected and we started to post our infographics and videos according to our set schedule over the duration of 1.5 months. Finally, we conducted our post assessment. To do this, we created a post-test survey using Google Form, which included three questions in a five items Likert scale format. This question assessed in three areas how much knowledge they gained from our Instagram posts, how likely they are to recycle food peels and how likely they are to try out our DIY. We then distributed the post test and collected the data. Finally, we compared and analyzed pre and post tests to see if our followers were more knowledgeable and were more likely to reduce food peels waste. Um, move, moving on to our the method to meet our objective two, we decided to make DIY cleaning spray from uh, orange fruit peels as a mean to reduce food peel waste. Firstly, we acquired orange peels, and secondly, we weighed the peels and then recorded the data as our data before doing our DIY. Then we started making our cleaning spray by following online DIY. During this, we also recorded ourselves using the cleaning spray we made to post on our Instagram and share this with our followers and to demonstrate its effectiveness. Once our cleaning spray was made, we then weighed the fruit peels again, and this would be our data after doing the DIY. Lastly, in order to measure whether there is a reduction in fruit peels waste, we compared the weight of the fruit peels before and after doing our DIY. Yes, next slide. Okay, moving on to the results. Next slide, please. Starting with our Instagram account, so after about a month or two of having this Instagram account, we gained about 18 followers and we received 8 to 12 likes on each post on average that we posted. Although we had less followers than we anticipated or that we expected to have, we reached about 103 accounts and also engaged with about 74 accounts on our posts. Next slide, please. 
Okay, next we'll be talking about the fruit peel weight. So the orange peel weight uh, before we started making the cleaning spray was 229 grams. And after the cleaning spray was made and we took out the fruit peels, it was 259 grams. This was inconsistent with past experiments done because the fruit peel weights increased after preparing the cleaning spray. Uh, when we hypothesized that a decrease in the weight post-test means less waste. So future experiments can try to make plant compost from these fruit peel waves to try and further reduce the waste. Next slide, please. Now we'll be talking about our survey results. So in the pre-test survey, results show that 100% of the participants dispose of the fruit peel after they eat the fruits. 82% reported having little to no knowledge about the negative impact of fruit peel waste, and 76.5% stated their interest that they would be interested in implementing ways that we showed on an Instagram account to reduce fruit peel waste by doing the DIYs. In the post-test survey, on the other hand, we saw that all participants stated having gained knowledge about fruit peel waste after following our Instagram account. 79% stated that they would be most to very likely to recycle fruit peels, and 62% to 62% were most to very likely to try the DIY projects, for example, the cleaning spray by themselves. Survey results show that we have succeeded in promoting awareness on the issue of fruit peel waste and taught our viewers a DIY method on recycling fruit peel waste into a cleaning spray. We have also demonstrated the efficacy of our DIY spray by showing us actually using it and posting the content on Instagram. In addition, we have produced content recommend, recommending other DIY projects by others and also reviewed scientific articles on recycling food peer waste. Although there was no noticeable reduction in food peer waste, our cleaning spray was still effective. We believe that future focus should be on using the leftover peels um, into compost. All in all, we believe our project contributes to spreading ideas and knowledges about protecting the environment, and specifically the issue of food peer waste. So we're moving on to the acknowledgement. So first, we would like to thank Assistant Professor Oro Wans, our project advisor, for her support and consultation during the project implementation and planning process. We would also like to thank to thank to Thank you to Assistant Professor Nipada, Assistant Professor Non Niwich, and Assistant Professor Dr. Hong Shai for giving us constructive comments whenever we share project progress with all of you. Thank you to our Instagram followers for their follow and support for our content posts. And also thank you to my environment classmates for supporting and sharing our Instagram accounts. Also, thank you for people who give uh, who gave us the orange peel for our DIY orange peel cleaner spray project. And lastly, thank you to all people who have completed the pre-test and post-test since they helped us achieve our objective and results. So here are our references, and thank you.